Digital Health Global Goods are adaptable software and services that address health system challenges. What makes a software a strong global good? Use in multiple countries to address multiple health system challenges with funding from multiple sources. Support from active communities that provide help when needed. Attention to privacy and security best practices. Free and open source licensing with publicly available code and documentation to support affordable customization. All making it easy to deploy at scale. Global goods are used to cut down on unnecessary spending and provide sustainable software solutions for countries, thereby saving more lives and improving the health of humans all over the world. The WHO classification framework in the Digital Implementation Investment Guide has identified 39 potential health system challenges and over 80 specific ways that digital tools can improve health services. These interventions are parceled in a variety of digital health global goods. Each video in this series will highlight a specific global good. This video will feature Open SRP, developed by Ona. The primary users for Open SRP are frontline health workers at the facility and community levels. Anne is a midwife who oversees a team of community health workers who routinely check in with patients through household visits and refer them to the facility when they are sick or when a health service is past due. Anne, like many frontline health workers, faces challenges coordinating her team deployed across different communities. This makes it difficult to ensure that patients are not overlooked and receive continuity of care between providers such as community health workers and primary health facilities. She also needs to ensure that everyone on her team is following the most recent clinical protocols to ensure patients get evidence-based quality care. OpenSRP is a digital health application that supports continuity of care at community and facility levels by providing decision support to health workers to help guide them through health encounters, allowing for rapid data entry and enabling health workers to schedule follow-ups based on the patient's specific care plan. OpenSRP is built upon FHIR's standardised data model, which facilitates data exchange between different applications within the health system. This enables frontline health workers to use the application to track patients across facility and community visits, providing better continuity of care. OpenSRP is natively compliant with WHO Smart Guidelines, which are based on HL7 FHIR. WHO Smart Guidelines enable configurable and flexible health worker applications that can solve specific local challenges within the guardrails of clinically proven global health standards and ensure that clinical protocol adherence is evidence-based and up-to-date. OpenSRP is a digital case management application that runs on Android smartphones and tablets. It can work online or offline, with the ability to transmit data from device to device in remote areas, enabling workers to collect data offline for long periods of time. As an enterprise solution used in places transitioning from paper to digital or wanting to replace standalone single-focus digital health applications, OpenSRP improves health outcomes by providing a strong, integrated health system right out of the box, leading to faster launches of complete digital systems, including health service applications and dashboards for tracking, referrals or task assignments. As technical steward for OpenSRP, Honor contributes code, design and documentation for the project. We're also proud to support a robust network of local tech. ONA is a Kenya US technology solutions company that builds data solutions for good. Our mission, or need is greatest, using data to transform lives. Using OpenSRP, community health workers can register patients, conduct basic health screenings, and record the health services they receive. They can also refer patients to the facility when sick or a clinical service is due. This creates a digital referral that is accessible to the nurse at the clinic when the CHW syncs their device, enabling the entire team of health workers to coordinate and schedule patient care, 
with each role having their own job duties depending on who is treating the patient. At the facility level, OpenSRP supports health workers to provide comprehensive clinical care support across the continuum of care, leveraging the WHO Smart Guidelines, such as those issued for antenatal care, labour and delivery, or child health and immunisation services. WHO Smart Guidelines can be adapted by local teams to ensure they reflect the priorities and capacity of health workers on the ground and automatically updated as soon as WHO issues new guidance. OpenSRP can also be adapted for other health providers who will access the same patient records, expanding the continuity of care to specialists like nutritionists, pharmacists and HIV care specialists, with specific tasks based on their roles and the patient's care plans. OpenSRP is interoperable and adheres to global standards such as FIRE. FIRE provides a standardised shared patient model that helps the health system see the patient's health status from the community to the health facility, providing better continuity of care. All data captured in a FIRE application is encoded to standardised FIRE resources and mapped to medical terminologies like ICD-11 or SNOMED. The ability to standardise the outputs of similar health programmes across projects and countries lays the groundwork for the use of AI-enabled analytics. FIRE also enables interoperability with other applications like DHIS2 or national digital health architectures based on open HIE with minimal extra work. Like most uh, LMICs, low to medium income countries, the challenge uh, is a registry of patients and citizens. And OpenSRP offers an opportunity for a country for a simple technology that can store uh, identities securely of the citizens, which forms the foundation for digital health infrastructure. Without a good identification system, it's quite difficult to do health data portability and tracking of services given to the citizens. In my view, the mission of OpenSRP is to make available very simple technologies that can form the foundations for digital health interoperability in the country. And that foundation is citizen identification, secure but reliable. The most impactful feature of, of OpenSRP would be the offline mode, being able to synchronize with a server once, get the newest forms, let the health workers fill up the form offline and later be able to synchronize and upload the filled up forms to the central server. That might seem simple, but OpenSRP actually made it work. At Ono, we're excited to make the vision of smart guideline based apps a reality. We believe it's an important step for helping to ensure frontline health workers can provide better continuity of care and equitable access to services to those who need most. With OpenSRP deployed in the health system, Anne's team is able to coordinate and provide high-quality clinical care to their patients that adheres to WHO-based protocols. To learn more about OpenSRP, visit smartregister.org. To learn more about other digital health global goods, visit Digital Square and read through the Global Goods Guidebook. Join the community and see how you can leverage global goods for your work.